You might hear some people say that marriage is the most stressful part of life, but you'd be wrong. The most stressful part of your life is when you decide whether or not you want to upgrade your motorcycle. So let's get on the bike, go for a ride, and let's talk about that. What's up guys, welcome back to Throttle Tube. I am Ryan, and in this video, I thought it'd be a great topic to cover whether or not to upgrade your motorcycle. Now I'm gonna answer this in two parts, I think, because it's the two that make the most sense off the top of my head. And I'm gonna answer that from the first point being someone who's a bit younger, might be their second bike and they wanna upgrade. They want those big cojones. They wanna show their friends that they can ride an R6 and R1 and Ninja 1000, etc., etc. They don't wanna hang about on a little Ninja 250 anymore or a Ninja 400, etc., etc. They wanna go out, buy a big bike, and show off to their friends. And the second part I'm thinking of covering is gonna be, you're a little bit older, a bit mature, you might have had a bike for a long time, you might have had a few bikes, and you're stuck in the middle of whether or not you wanna to upgrade to something bigger, better, or just something different. So what better way to start than talk about the type of person who might have a smaller CC bike right now, they want something faster, they wanna catch up with their friends, they might just want to fast track that fast boy situation. I know what it's like, I've been there. Most of you guys are probably male and we have that egotistical side of us and we want the fast bike. We want the MT-09s, the Yamaha R1s, the Ninja 1000s, etc, etc. And we don't want to wait. We've ridden an R3, we've ridden a Ninja 400, a 650, and they're just not as fast as we thought they would be. And we've got addicted to the power and we want more. Sorry, that's probably a bad example. That's probably not gonna deter you guys by doing that. But that's what you wanna do. You wanna do stuff like this, have fun, have a big engine, have a big bike. I'm telling you, you don't wanna rush the situation. Some of the best moments I've ever had of riding are when I started out on my smaller bike because that learning curve is invaluable. You're never, ever, ever gonna come close to learning the skills or how to handle a bike or to save yourself if you get a big bike off the back. You're gonna just be trying to tame this thing non-stop and you might get overconfident very fast because anybody can go in a straight line and twist this thing here and go fast. That's not skill, that's stupidity. And I'm telling you, that gets boring very, 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 very fast. There are plenty of videos with R3s, Ninja 400s, keeping up with 600,000 cc bikes. And that just shows you that the bike is not underpowered, it's the rider. So if you are that person I'm talking about, don't race and go and get a big bike. It's gonna be something that you probably can't afford, especially can't afford to crash. And if you're gonna finance it, you're gonna be financing this thing forever. It's not a good move, especially with insurance and the risk of hurting yourself. And the other part of it is you're not gonna have as much fun if you get one of these straight away, I'm telling you. And if you do go out and buy that bike and you don't care for what I say, good luck. I generally hope you don't die because I don't wish that upon anybody. And that brings me on to the next point. Say you're a bit older, you've got some experience under your belt. So the governing factor isn't experience here or skill. It's more to do with whether you want to spend the funds on something new, get rid of the bike you already have, upgrade or add to your garage. And I've got a few good pointers I think I can add here because not too long ago, myself, as an example, was looking at buying another motorcycle, which I still will be doing, don't worry, but I'll be adding to this. But I was looking at getting a bike, I test rode a few, and I still have the old Flayful. Flayful? Flayful. So I was looking at these bikes, test riding in them, and I never got that like that feeling I got when I first started riding and I got my first bike, or when I got this, for example. When I got this, I wanted it for at least two years before I got it. I know that's a long time, but I was on the uh, earlier point in my life, as I was saying, I was a newer rider. I didn't want to upgrade my bike too soon, and I couldn't out here in New Zealand because of my license, so I was held back. But the whole time, I was waiting, I wanted one of these. So, damn right, I got one of these. Now, when it came to me test riding these other bikes, I didn't get that feeling. I was just looking at bikes for the sake of, I had an itch to get a bike. I don't know why, I don't know what I wanted, but I wanted something, but nothing seemed to give me that satisfaction. Because it doesn't matter how you cut it, motorcycles aren't cheap, it's a big chunk of change and anything that you do buy, unless you buy it secondhand and sell it pretty quickly, tends to devalue pretty fast. And I don't know about you, but I don't like throwing money down the drain for no reason, even though we all tend to do it time to time. So using myself as an example again, how I looked at it is, what am I gonna get out of a new bike that this bike already doesn't offer me? And to be honest, it wasn't a lot. 
I like fast bikes, I like comfortable bikes, I like the motard feel, I like the hooligan look, that kind of aesthetic and that feel. And there's not many bikes that do it other than an MT-09. And for most people, bikes come down to smiles per miles. If they don't make you smile, why ride it? I know for some people commuting is the main factor, but for the rest of us, these are toys. They are fun toys, they're expensive toys. You don't want to regret buying a bike you don't actually want. And I knew if I bought that Ducati, I'd have regretted it pretty instantly. So my main gist would be, say you can afford it financially, it's now just a choice of what you feel and what you want. If you don't get that giggly feeling that you got when you were a child or when you got your first motorbike, don't do it. You're going to regret it. Hold out until you know. But I don't know, I guess to summarise it, if you're asking the question, it pretty much answers itself. Because if you really wanted something, you wouldn't need to question it. And I think that's the big factor here. And that's exactly where I was at with the Ducati. And I'm certainly not in the business of wanting to regret my decisions of something that could cost upwards of $20,000. Well, I hope that might have sparked some interest for a couple of you guys. If so, make sure you like, comment and subscribe. Do me a favour, it would be much appreciated. Make sure you ride safe. Any questions you may have, put them down in the comments and I'll get back to you ASAP. So, that being said, make sure you ride safe and I'll see you guys in the next video.